Good morning. Um, I'm just sitting out in my backyard. It's a little bit sunny, but uh, it's good to get some vitamin D in the first thing in the day. Um, I've been wanting to put on makeup and stuff, and then I thought, I'm just going to get out there and do this. Um, so I actually recorded this video yesterday. Well, I recorded a video. Um, yesterday that I was gonna post today because uh, I try to do these videos when I feel um, inspired or motivated to do them um, and yet there's something um, this video is probably gonna go longer than I want but I'm feeling like I'm, I'm saying too much, I'm talking too long, maybe with the rambling, there's sort of a balance uh, when it comes to vulnerability, like as an example in, in a relationship. Um, Dr. Susan Campbell that I was uh, did an interview with the other day with my boyfriend, she even said we, we want to say so many words, especially for me, I, I process quickly and, and it sort of gets to be like Brr. and yes, those are those are real feelings, thoughts, and emotions that I'm sharing and I'm not censoring. And at the same time, is it effective to just bombard my partner with what I'm thinking and feeling? Because sometimes what you need to do or what I need to do is pause. Uh, that's a part of the five minute relationship repair from Susan Campbell. But then if I pause and I get down to the root emotion, instead of all of these thoughts up in my head, of, well, you did this and then you said that and then that made me think this and da 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 If I get down to the root of it and that made me feel sad or that triggered my need to feel important or, or whatever. So I'm gonna really try and make an effort um, in the interest of practice for myself, of being more concise with my vulnerability. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm not making any promises. This is just something I'm working on. So yesterday, someone had commented on the video interview therapy session that I did with my boyfriend Chris and Dr. Susan Campbell from 5-Minute Relationship Repair. And he had said something um, that Chris is really lucky, that I'm really lucky to have Chris because most men wouldn't put up with me. And my reaction to that was like, ugh, stabbed in the heart, you know? And I noticed that immediately felt the need to defend. And even in my video yesterday, I was like, sort of, I listed off a couple of reasons or people, examples of why I know that wasn't true. And then I was like, oh, I'm noticing I'm still defending. And But I was still defending, right? And the thing is that um, I don't want to put any judgment on that person because that's, that's his path. And you know what? He wouldn't want to be with me. That's great. Um, you know, I mean, there are times that I, I wouldn't want to be with me you know and, and I have to work through that and forgive myself and I think we all have those moments when um, there's that song by Pink she, I'm a hazard to myself you know I think every human being has those those moments where we feel embarrassed or ashamed or we come from a reaction of, of hurt and then later look back and say what well, wish I had handled that better so, and I mean, Chris does the same thing. It's not, and yet we're both really lucky to have each other. I mean, he puts up with my crap. I put up with it. Well, I mean, we don't put up with it. We are willing to work through it. We're willing to accept each other um, in that moment and also work towards doing better between the two of us and if we weren't both growing and, and improving then we would have ended things a, a long time ago um, but again I'm, I'm rambling <laughs> um, 
but I just feel oh yes so what made me feel um, I think defensive about it was I, I need to people are gonna say what they're gonna say and if I was watching a couple talking I mean I'd probably have my own judgments and and things that I think are better so um, in fact just today I had commented on something and the person had commented back um, in not in a defensive well maybe a little bit defensive but just sort of like well here are the reasons why here are my excuses for continuing this way of thinking or this behavior and in the past I would have put my opinion on that and been like well here's why this is wrong or here's why this isn't gonna help you or whatever and then I realized well that person is not gonna take that on that person is not ready to hear that opinion and am I sharing that I don't know what that was. Oh, maybe a squirrel? Oh, there's a little birdie. It's distracting me, sorry. Um, where was I? <laughs> so, am I sharing this opinion because I think that it will help the person on the receiving end? Or am I sharing this opinion because it makes me feel better? Uh, more enlightened smarter like I know what I'm doing or whatever like it's some kind of relief of tension uh, Alison Armstrong talks about that um, with our instincts our, our our instincts that come from like our reptilian brain um, we have we we do these behaviors in order to get a relief of tension and it's all kind of subconscious when when it happens until we start paying attention to those things so I think sharing our uh, my opinion um, I don't know if that comes from the reptilian brain but it's somewhere it's definitely not a, a higher level of thinking to just be like well this is what I think and blah, blah. this is why I'm judging you and you have to and again no judgment on the, the person who posted the message it's just sort of what's come up for me and what I'm noticing um, and so then I had the opportunity today when this person this a different person came back and was like well here's why I'm having all these limited beliefs and here's why I'm sort of a victim of my circumstance and rather than pointing out you're being a victim of your circumstance you're giving up your power I just said something like well how would it be to ask yourself what am I here uh, what can I learn from this uh, and even that I mean I don't know was I commenting with to truly help or was I commenting because it, it was something I need to remind myself of um, I'm really not sure at that point at this point um, but trying to get back to my point this video is even longer than yesterday's video so whatever anyway um, more has come up uh, I was talking yesterday in the video that I didn't post um, that when I put myself out there like I put that video of uh, that, that therapy session out there to help other people because I know that there are millions and millions of people that are having these emotional reactions and the comment that was posted was something like um, it called my reaction petty uh, which is kind of an attacking word you know uh, it's definitely wasn't helpful in the moment but we all have our emotional we all have that first initial instinctive reaction and it's our jobs to get to the point where we pause we stop and we don't react from that place but to expect ourselves or to judge ourselves for having that initial feeling um, I don't I don't think that that's gonna help anyone um, and maybe one day I'll get to a place where I don't even feel those things I just notice oh isn't that interesting he said that and, and 10 years ago it might have made me feel like this but I feel nothing now I don't know that would be great but um, I'm not too worried about it anyway um, so I'd like to get more concise because I want to get to the root 
emotion. Um, and oh yeah, and the point that I had wanted to make yesterday was just about um, not not hiding our light. You know that song, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Not hiding our light under a bushel just because people are gonna judge us. People are gonna have their opinions and uh, and some might keep their opinions to themselves, thank you very much, and others might spew them out because of their own reasons. Whatever those may be, it's not for me to say. Um, but I want to get to the point where I don't hide my light and I don't, you know, cover myself up and try to protect and I don't lash out in defense mode because what people say and what people do for the most part has way more to do with them. My behavior that I do has way more to do with me than anything you've done or said to me. And the things that you do and say to me have way more to do with you and your programming and your habits and how you grew up or whatever than it has to do with anything that I've done. So um, I think it's important to remember that. And um, if you're still watching, wow, you are a trooper. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, this is me more. I had a shower, but I've got to put hair gunk in my hair because it gets really frizzy. Um, Mm. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. If you are watching this right now, um, thanks for sticking it out with me. That means a lot. Um, and if no one's watching this and it's just me, that's okay too. Um, yeah. Okay. Have a great day. <laughs>